Hello, and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with immigration attorney Brian D. Lerner. As many of you know, uh, the uh, travel ban uh, has been put into effect by Trump. Uh, and if you happen to come to one of those countries that is affected by the travel ban, uh, you know, it, it did go all the way up to the Supreme Court and you know, the majority of what was left uh, was deemed to be constitutional. So at this point here, um, you need to not uh, try to fight the validity in this point of the travel ban, but try to do what's necessary to either uh, determine whether you fall under an exception or whether you need to do a waiver. Now, first things first, if you happen to come from one of the countries that has the travel ban, uh, you can actually try to become a citizen of another country. And if you do that, then uh, if you're a dual citizen, it doesn't apply and you'll be able to come into the United States without any regard as to whether or not you are actually from a country that has the travel ban or not. Now, it, it might not be as difficult to become a citizen of another country uh, if you do a little research because there are several countries around the world where basically you invest a certain amount in their country and you get citizenship. It's really basically buying your citizenship. Uh, and you never know. You might get a good investment and make money on it at the same time. So I know it's between $100,000 and $200,000 in which to become a citizen of these other countries. Uh, one that comes right off is Grenada. Um, but you can look around and that certainly is one way uh, to escape the uh, items that are listed in the travel ban. Now, assuming you don't want to become a country or you can't become a citizen of another country um, you need to see if a waiver applies because every case uh, does have the ability for you to apply for a waiver of the particular uh, ban but before you even get to the waiver you need to see if an exception applies because there might be an exception you know, for example, uh, if you, you know, previously had a, a visa here, you have certain family members and so forth, um, because if you fall within an exception to the travel ban, there's no need to do a waiver. You, you have an exception and boom, you can come in on the way that you were intending. Now, assuming you don't become a citizen of another country, you don't have an exception that applies, then you have to look to do a waiver. And, of course, the waivers have to be very, very uh, strong. Um, you know, unfortunately, and the reality is they're adjudicated very differently depending where it is that they uh, are adjudicated and whom adjudicates them. Um, but what you want to do first is look to hardship. Uh, first, uh, document every form of hardship that you can to you, your family, the business, everything that you can as to the reason uh that exist if they don't let you in. Um, show the national interest uh, next in coming in. So, you know, if you happen to be, for example, a physics researcher from uh, Iran and you're researching some, uh, you know, very high tech uh, item with physics, you might show the national interest in being able to pursue that type of research and whom you would be working for and so forth. Um, you know, that's just one example. You could always find different types of uh, national interest arguments. And then next, you have to show, of course, that you're not a security risk to the U.S. Um, and so those are the three basic items that are needed in order to have a good waiver uh, with the understanding that for a complete waiver package, even though you show just those three things, you'll have, you know, the normally the attorney cover letter, declarations, affidavits, supporting evidence, and all kinds of stuff showing why you should be able to proceed forward. So that in a nutshell 
uh, is what you need to look at and do in regards to if you come from one of those countries that deal with the travel ban. And if you like the video, click like, subscribe, and more on the coming videos in the coming weeks. Thank you. Bye.